Hi farmers, this is uh, Selva Kumaran Industries, E Road, Tamil Nadu. Uh, this is a, a small explanation video how to operate your motor in a fully automatic water tank controller mode. Uh, this is a Selcon motor doctor. This is to control all your uh, motor issues like is a high voltage, low voltage, dry run, overload, timer, everything. And this is your uh, contactor. Uh, this is your uh, starting capacitor. This is your running capacitor. And uh, more interestingly, this is a lightning protector. If any lightning or thunder or any high voltage will come in, the, uh, the controller could be protected by this lightning protector. Okay. Now we see what are the functions in the controller, Celcon motor doctor, this is a uh, auto mode, manual mode and the functions, uh, dry run, overload, tank full, high voltage, low voltage and these are the main functions, menu, decrement, increment. Now I can uh, switch on the controller. Now we can see SSI, uh, SSI means uh, Sri Selva Kumaran Industries. Now the controller will be switched on in auto mode. So now already we fixed auto start time as 10 seconds. So once it reaches uh, 0, then controller will switch on automatically. So now it reaches 10, 0. Now ready light is on. Now the motor is started. So already we connected uh, one, one HP motor, so automatically it takes 1.5 amps. So now go and see what are the functions in the menu. Just to, you press the menu button for 3 seconds. So once you press it 3 seconds, the, the, there is a display changes that is all set SET. Now we, we press once again. Uh, there is a dry run, DRN. Dry run means so already we fixed 0.5 amps as a dry run. Then you press it means menu overload. Already overload as a 5 amps. Then high voltage. High voltage is set it as a 270. So once the voltage is above 270, it stops the motor automatically. And low voltage. So low voltage is fixed as uh, 170. So if the voltage is below 170, it has to protect the motor. Uh, auto start time. So once the power resume, so uh, the motor starts automatically after 10 seconds. Then starting capacitor. So we fix the starting capacitor time as one. Then CR. Suppose the borehole has uh, only limited water. So it has to run for 10 minutes, 20 minutes or 30 minutes means we have to fix on time, off time. So if you have to run the motor for half an hour means, so you have to fix 30 as a on time. So automatically motor on for 30 seconds. So it's the off time. Suppose you have to take a 2 hours rest means, you have to fix 120 for the off time. So then it drip time. If any problem arises, so within uh, 5 seconds, the motor switch off automatically. So end, once it reaches end, the control will set all the things. Now you can switch off. Then again, you switch on. So all the setting has been stored in the controller. So now you can see how to operate the control in the water tank controller. So <coughs> now we see uh, there are the fun, uh, water tank wires. There are two provisions are there. Here the wires are connected. So now we can see the controller, water tank controller. That is a float model. Now the float is in the bottom. That is a tank is empty. So once the tank is empty means now once the water is boring, the float co coming up, coming up slowly. The coming up slowly once reaches the point so automatically the controller shows the error message of tft that is tank full so once the tank full reaches means after the delay time the controller will switch off the motor automatically okay so now we can see the controller error message and the float position the float position is at the top so now you can slowly uh, so once the water is going down the controller will switch on the motor. So now the post is in the bottom position. Now the controller will switch on automatically.